Welcome back, I'm Susie Cowper, bringing you the Tea Cozy Folk vlog for August. Now, before I start showing you any knitting, I need to tell you the exciting stuff first. I'm going to be at the Knitting and Stitching Show in Harrogate on Sunday the 19th of November. I know it seems such a long way off November, but it's going to fly. Anyway, I'm doing two things there. I am going to be doing a little workshop and I'm also going to be talking in the live theatre. So the workshop, let me show you that first. I'm going to be, it's called Stitch Mastery and it's to knit a Terry's chocolate orange, but it's not, oh, not an orange, an orange chocolate orange cosy. It'd be magic if we could knit Terry's chocolate oranges. Imagine how many we'd make. <laughs> we'd be fat. But um, yeah, hang on. I've gone off track now. I'm going to show you how to knit one of these lovely chocolate orange cosies, but it's not just a plain, simple one. It's using lots of the fancy stitches that are used in my tea cosies. So you know where you have to pick up from a row behind and knit bobbles, attach a frill, knit loops, do these funny little twiddly bits. And, um, and they're all included, all these things. And you get, um, so you come along to the workshop and you get all the things you need to make one of these little cosies. And I'm also going to put in one of my calendars, I'm developing a new calendar for 2024. But I'll tell you about that later. But um, yeah, and you get all the yarn and the Terry chocolate orange and you get to knit one of these. It's a two hour workshop. So whew, lots of knitting. We've got to sit there for two hours and knit. But I knit one with you and we all, yeah, knit one of these gorgeous little Ticos, not Ticoses. Terry's chocolate orange cosy. Oh, I'm all in a muddle today. It's because I'm excited. Yeah, and then I'm also doing a talk in the, I think they call it the Living Theatre. And um, and it's in the middle of the show. And, um, and I'll stand up and talk. And I'm going to be talking about um, uh, cosy tips, tea cosy tips and knitting tips and little tips and hacks to show you how to get a more professional finish on your tea cosies yeah so that'll be all about that and that's free to come along so just pop along and and have a look the times are for the creative living theatre i come on at 11 45 and then the the workshop starts at 2 15 and it goes on for two hours so you know have a look and i'll put the link down below for the harrogate show but then if you search cowper you'll find me i'll come up and also you'll be able to find out a bit more about the courses and, and what's going on so have a look and i'd love to see you there if you go you must say hello if you see me i'd love to say hello so yeah come along i'm so excited can't believe it this is my project for fun this is my holiday project where i've been traveling around in the car just doing bits here and there oh there's a that's a foreign body anyway look these are my socks and this is how far I've got. Now, luckily, my daughter's got nice little feet. So, you know, they didn't take long to do at all. It looks really teeny tiny, but she's size five. Now the world knows. But anyway, so that's that's my sock number one. And I'm currently on, oh, sock number two. Be careful not to pull the wrong needle out. Otherwise you lose all your stitches. I've done that before. Oh, oh, I'm in a tangled mess. Anyway. Oh, look, so I've done the cuff. That's as far as I've got on sock two. But on my next long car journey, I should do a bit more. I would like to say that I'm not driving the car while I'm knitting the socks. I'm um, I'm the passenger. <laughs> just so you know, just in case you're worried that Susie goes along t -t 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 and steering at the same time. I'm not. I'm not. It's um, I'm the passenger. So, um, yeah, so that's my sock project. That's the sock update. They're coming on. They're looking good. And my daughter's pleased. She's going to have one warm foot this winter at the minute. But hopefully two. This is my latest tea cosy. Oh, ta-da.
Anybody, any arachnophobes, look away now. Leave the room, I'll give you a yell and you can come back when it's safe and the ghost is clear. This is my tarantula tea cosy. And I finished him Friday, I finished him. But um, someone's gonna be test knitting him for me and then I've got to develop the pattern and make sure it's all correct. And then it will go on sale on the 17th of August. That's what I'm aiming for. But I mean, I don't like spiders. You know, I'd rather have a mouse than a spider. And I wouldn't, I can't bear to be in a room with a spider. I have to get it shifted and I won't touch it and I won't shift it myself. But I like this. I think he looks less spidery and more cutie. Look, what do you think? Does he look spidery? I think he's more bearable than a spider. And these are his antennas or feelers. And then he's got his eight legs that get a bit bigger. Ooh, do, 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 do. <laughs> You know, if you're into Harry Potter, it'd make a great one of those. I can't remember what that spider's called. That giant spider in Harry Potter. You could make one, couldn't you? But, um, yeah, this is the Tarantula Tea Cozy. He's based on a um, Mexican red kneed tarantula. Because of his red knees. But, um, and he's the tarantula I think most people commonly think of, which is why I chose to do him in... Um, where it's orange, but it's not in your face orange, is it? It's Starcraft Special DK Spice. And it's just perfect for this. It's not too bright, but you know, orangey enough. But yeah, so he'll be on the website on the 17th of August. And if you if you want to shout when it goes on, join the newsletter. I'll put the link below and um and I'll send a newsletter out and he's available. He's perfect for Halloween. That's what I was thinking. You know, get a spooky one in, ready for Halloween. So this is my spooky tea cosy. I'm sure some people are spooked now. But anyway, I'm going to move him away so we can call the others back. Okay, he's going. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's what crabs do, isn't it? <laughs> there he goes. He's gone. He's all gone now. You can come back in. The spider's gone. You might remember this tea cosy. It was in Simply Knitting magazine back in December. And it's the Painting the White Roses Red tea cosy. And it's from Alice in Wonderland. Well, inspired by Alice in Wonderland. And um, you know in the story, they've planted the wrong roses and the roses are blooming white. And the queen, she wants them red. So the poor old cards, are out with their pots of paints and their paintbrushes and they're painting all the roses because they've planted the wrong ones and um and they're really worried because you know the queen she likes to chop off heads so yeah and she does actually she's she finds them she catches them and says oh with his head but um i don't think they do get their heads chopped off i think they run away so this is the painting the white roses red tea cosy and it's gone on the website so now you can get the digital download and you can get that from the tea cosy folk website i'll put the link below and if you want to go along and get that download it you knit one yourself you can do but i thought they were quite christmassy you know because of panto season so that's that one but i've got more because simply knitting this month and it's out on the 10th of August. There's my Angular Fish Tea Cozy Knitting Pattern in Simply Knitting. And it's issue 241. So don't buy one yet. It's in a few days time. On the 10th of August, it'll be in the shops. But this is the Angular Fish. Ooh, look at him. I was thinking Halloween and something scary. And, and he does look scary, doesn't it? Look, you will not want to meet him, would you? And this is his little lure to lure in a little fishy. A uh, fish comes by and then he eats him. And um, and I think he's quite creepy, isn't he? I do like him. It's funny, isn't it, how ugly he is? Quite nice, isn't it? And this is one of those ugly but cutie tea cosies. So he's in the Simply Knitting magazine. He's knitted in Storm Blue. So if you want to, you could go and get the right 
yarning ready. It's a Starcraft special DK, but yeah, Storm Blue. So have a have a look out for that in the magazine. But yeah, get the yarning ready because you've got to knit one of these. Look at that. Woo! And I've been working on some other tea cozy patterns for Simply Knitting. Of course, can't tell you about them yet, but um, but there will be more. There's more coming because I'm still designing for them and, and there's more on the way. Woo, exciting. Talking of Alice in Wonderland. Things are getting curiouser and curiouser here. My next project are Terry's Chocolate Orange Cozies in an Alice in Wonderland theme. I've started with four designs. There's so many characters. I've been listening to a reading on YouTube and it's somebody just reading the story and it's so nice. I've been listening to it and doing my knitting and it's fabulous. And it's just so inspiring to, you know, hear the proper words. And because when you watch a film, you know, it's all tweaked and changed and bits are chopped out. But when you hear somebody read the story, it's really nice. And um, yeah, so I've been inspired to do chocolate orange cozies in an Alice in Wonderland theme. And I'm going to start off with Alice and then I want to do the dodo. Did you know the dodo is actually Lewis Carroll himself? He's put himself in and he's the dodo. So I thought that is really important to do. And then everybody loves the white rabbit. So I've done the white rabbit with an oversized pocket watch and then the little caterpillar. I might change the caterpillar. I think he needs to be bigger and his, his smoking pot needs to be on the floor. But anyway, I can do artistic license with that nearer the time, I'll see how it goes. But they're the designs that I want to do. And I have made a start. This is Alice. And I wanted to do a sitting down with her legs. You know, as I wanted to look giant size, you know, cause she's eaten something and she's grown too big. Not that part where she's grown a long neck though. Just, I think she's in the house and she eats something and gets too big. And um, and then they want to burn the house down. <laughs> but yeah, so this is Alice. She's sitting, that's her dress. I'm gonna have her legs coming out from under her petticoats. And this is her body. And of course I've got to do her head on the top. So I've started Alice. But yeah, so I'm hoping to do these. I was kind of thinking, you know, I might do these and then I might do some more because there's lots of characters, isn't there? And they're really lovely. And I thought they might lovely chocolate orange cozies. And again, because, you know, panto season and all that. And um, oh, look, it looks lovely, doesn't it? Alice in Wonderland sitting next to the bush, the rose bush. So yeah, so that's my next project. So I'll keep you up to date with that. I'll give you a little progress report next month. The last thing I wanted to tell you that I've been working on is the Tea Cozy Folk calendar for 2024 and this year more Terry's Chocolate Orange Cozies because there's a knitting pattern every month for a Terry's Chocolate Orange Cozy and they're all different things. I'm not going to tell you yet. I'll tell you next month what they actually are. I'll show you next month but there's a little Terry's Chocolate Orange Cozy for every month. And some of them, you know, are related to events in that month. And some are just, I don't know, nice things. So I've been working on that and I've got the testers knitting the little cozies to make sure all the patterns are correct. And I've been putting all the pages together and finalising the little patterns. And whew, it's been such a lot of work, but I'm nearly there. And I definitely think I will have them. To, I probably have the calendar to show you next month. That would be really exciting. So I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted and let you know how I'm going. But you know, if you if you like knitting Terry's chocolate orange cozies, you've got to get the calendar. It'd be brilliant because then you've got twelve little patterns. And but I don't know. Will you wait and just do that one for that month, or will you just knit them all anyway? Do Do you think by the end of January you'll have knitted all twelve? Maybe. But anyway. The calendar hopefully will be here next month. And that's all I've got to show you this month. It's I seem to be snowed under with things at the moment. It's just like there's, I don't know, the living room is just knitting everywhere. There's, you know, the, the sofa next to me is piled high with, with yarn and half finished projects and teapots. It looks like something out of Alice in Wonderland, to be honest. 
but um yeah so but i can't tell you everything of course i can't because oh there's loads of things loads of secrets but um i'm not really very good at keeping secrets but i have to be for this but anyway so i will see you again in september and i hope you have a lovely month and i hope you enjoyed this vlog and if you have please like share and subscribe there's a button down below if you can click and subscribe that'd be fab and i'll see you again in september stay safe and well bye